Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Uh, so, um, what we're, doing, we're doing this a little bit earlier because yep. um, you are going to be away as from tomorrow. I am, yeah. It's the second, uh, it's the second vlog of the year mm -hmm. and uh, already we've had a little mishap, haven't we? Well, we haven't because it's not going to be on time. Okay. But we're just having to restructure our filming day. Yeah, yeah. Normally we do this on a Friday and yep. then it's it's uploaded on a Friday evening. You guys get to see it Friday evening into the weekend mm. uh, and beyond. But we're, we're doing this on a Thursday. Um, yeah. uh, because you are going where? Uh, I'm going to Eindhoven, the home of Leo Schmetzers Lovely. in Holland. Mm -hmm. Crazy Leo Schmetzers. Crazy now, man. As I understand it, uh, Leo's weekend uh, that he puts on, he's put on for a couple of years now, yep. um, is amazing and a must attend mm -hmm. event. So I'm really excited. You, this is your first time going though, isn't it? To the convention, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you've spent time with Leo. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you know what you've let yourself in for. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy, man. Crazy. Excited to see his wife. Okay. Uh, sounds a bit weird, yeah. <laughs> uh, she's bit. lovely, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. She's a lovely huh? person, yeah. She's a really nice person uh -huh. and uh, makes the best food. No offence, Mum, it's, uh, it's on par. Yeah, I keep hearing about this mm -hmm. and uh, I had a chance to meet... Go on, I'm putting you on the spot, what's her name? Marie. Marie, very yeah. good. I had a chance to uh, meet Marie at Dave's wedding. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, very, very pleasant. They're just a lovely, lovely couple, aren't they? They make you feel at home, they yeah. make you feel welcome. Uh, I'm going to say, Ikalvia Marie, um, which is uh, I love you, Marie. Um, I'm also going to say it to Leo because it's getting a bit weird now, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> it's just, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to bring you oh, in yeah, in a sorry. minute. <laughs> um, no, but it's, no, they, they make you feel really welcome. And to be fair, obviously everyone's helped me get into magic, but. Uh, the first time I went to see Leo last year, uh, I stayed at his for a bit, and he kind of put me on the spot in the bar mm -hmm. to perform magic, which was which was good because I wasn't ready, I wasn't set for anything, mm -hmm. um, and it really I don't know. He just being put on the spot, obviously you, you're not ready for it, you're not prepared, so it kind of just put me in the deep end, which was good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not bad, very good. Oh, excellent. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sure you'll have uh, a lot of fun. I know mm. that uh, your dad's going with you. Yep. And I know that uh, Dave is lecturing there yep. um, and doing some of the close-up performances, and as as is Michael Vincent mm. as well. So <laughs> We're really far over to the side. We are. Just noticed. Right. Right. Yeah, that, that, we'll change that in a minute. We're, yeah. It's a little bit too close. Um, so, uh, yeah, so if you are going along to uh, Leo's Crazy Weekend mm. over this weekend, uh, then I'm sure that you'll see lots of magic, you'll learn lots, and you'll have an excellent time as well. Yeah, so. I am really excited. Apart from I've got to drive to Stansted at two in the morning. Mm, right, okay. Um, if it's any consolation, on Saturday I'll be driving to Heathrow. Oh, why is that? Then? Because I will be attending the session. <laughs> Yeah, so um, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure lots of you do again, uh, the session convention is held um, once a year, uh, mm. beginning of January, or actually this is, uh, yeah, mi middle of January. Yeah, oh, yeah. middle, yeah. Um, and um, it started off in Gloucester, it's been going for, for quite a few years now, and I cannot for the life of me remember how many years it has been going, um, but it is a great convention, uh, always very busy, always uh chock full of magic, mm. um, so much going on, some good lecturers, uh, some good events going on, um, and just a whole chance to, to session mm. with other magicians. So um, I haven't been for a couple of years, uh, so I, I'm looking forward to going this year. Yeah, I was speaking to Andy and I could feel the buzz. He's yeah, really I excited. Mean, I'm excited, yeah. I, I am excited. I don't get to go to very many mm. conventions. Um, and if I am at a convention, it's generally because uh, I'm working uh, there uh, for Alex Sam. Um, which so, you love. Which I love, yes, of course. Yeah, but now you can enjoy it. Um, but, I, you know, the, the session um, I go along to uh, as a... As a mm punter um, and you know I have a really good time get to connect with people I haven't seen for ages yeah. um, Sarah will be there as well from the academy um, and uh, John Carey will be there um, although I think he's attending as a guest he's not lecturing okay. but lo loads of other great magicians yeah. as well so in whatever way uh, you know if you're attending the session this weekend or if you're going to Leo's crazy day uh, then if you if you recognize this if you see us come over and mm. say hello because we're always uh, up for saying hello to people and, yeah. and chatting about magic Beautiful. So, so we, 
Go on. I'm not going to interrupt you one more time. You can carry on. No, you? no, we always do this, don't we? We should have a, we should have like a, an auto prompter yeah. just there. I do it every time. I've, I start putting my hand up now, but I just forgot. You, New, well, like you're New, in school. Yeah. New Year's same year. Yeah. <laughs> so, should we quickly talk about this? Let's have a talk about the newsletter. Yes. So the news the new newsletter is in bit of a tongue twister. Uh, once again, containing the beautiful stuff. Dave's got his low down section on there, talking about I believe it's stand up Monty, which is a great trick. I've also learned that mm. it's really good. There's a lot of magic going on. Yeah. Sarah's talking about the academy a bit. What? Oh, <laughs> Article Fifty Two. Article in 50. little piggy hat. Yeah, Article Fifty Two, which I talked about on the last vlog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say very much about the newsletter. Um, I'm only thinking that our designer, right, it's obviously uh, China, <laughs> I'm just on Chinese page. New Year, uh, because everybody pretty much, uh, apart from me and you, are, are yeah. in um, Chinese attire. Style for, yeah. attire. Yeah. But um, it's a good newsletter. You can see it as well. If you've missed out on any of our best-selling physical products and academies, they're all listed here. So this is what... Not all, or well, it's the best selling ones, people that like them, not liked them the most, but that was most sold. Mm -hmm. um, so if you've missed out on any of them, you can see uh, which ones, and obviously we've got the trade list for all of them and the videos linked to the product. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's cool. We've got a couple of new ones in there, so Pin is all the way up to third. Yeah. Gallery was our uh, best seller this year, and that was last year. L yes, last, last year. year. Yeah. Uh, but everyone's talking about the gallery. We've had so many. Sorry, I'm actually getting a FaceTime from Leo Schmetzers. That's why. Oh, it's gone. Uh, but that's why it put me off. Yeah. But yeah, no, the gallery was received really well. And if you haven't checked it out, check it out because there's you get like 24 routines in there, which mm. is really nice. Um, I'm actually going to take one to Holland with me. Lovely. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. And apart from that, I mean, it is chock full of other yeah. uh, great information. Uh, Peter always gives a low down mm. um, at, at the front here. Uh, my book section, John Carey's Trick of the Month. Uh, Sarah has her academy section in here. So it is uh, really one of the best ways of keeping up to date, apart from the vlogs and the lives. Yeah. For what's happening in the world of Alakazam and what's happening in the world of magic. Yep, so, beautiful. Um, so check it out. Um, they are going out in the post currently. Mm. So. Uh, I know that um, I know that you have, because I mean uh, we've been having lots of discussions in the shop, and you know I know you've been doing it with other people as well um, about uh, more in depth and how you're getting more into magic. Yeah. Um, and you're starting to pick out routines and effects that you know are really appealing to you, mm. and I think you know quite sensibly are appealing to the sort of direction that you want your magic to go in. You're not just buying magic for the sake of it and going, yeah. oh, you know, I just try this and then. That doesn't work, etc. Mm. You have a very clear idea of, of what you want. One of the items was um, this little beauty, which mm. has been out for quite a while now. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your experience with the code? I can. Um, the code has so many hidden features on it. Uh -huh. um, it's actually incredible. Uh -huh. I well, join do join do to perform it and talk about it after. Yeah, and this, a little, just a little basic performance. Okay, but so let, let's see a performance of one mm. of the items from uh, the code. Uh, the code as done by H. Oh. Andy. H. Are you all right? I am all right. No, you're half left. Right, start oh, that. Again. Right, no, we're not going to start that again. <laughs> we're just going to carry on. I just wish <laughs> I never said that because uh, that is not the direction I want match going. To go. <laughs> uh, but Andy, anyway, I've got a deck of cards here. So yes. I can get them out of the box. Yeah. Um, and obviously, it contains two jokers. We do not need them for this. Okay. And you can see this is a regular shuffle deck. Yeah. Let's correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Now, Andy, I want you to select a card. Okay. okay. But you know I've been practicing the classic fall, so I will not do that. Okay. Right? I just want you to cut. A packet of cards uh, in your hand for me, please. Okay. So you've got a, a packet of cards in your hand now, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just turn it over and have a look at the cards you've got. Yeah. Uh, and actually place that back down in there for me, please. Okay. So, Andy, in your head, I just want you to repeat the colour of your card. Nothing out the mouth, just through your head, please. Try and send it to me. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it's a... It's a black card, yeah? It was, yeah. yeah. That's 50-50, that's not really that impressive. So we'll go a little bit further. Um, keep saying it over, over and over again. Yes. Yeah. King, king of clubs, king of clubs. King of clubs, it was king of clubs, was it? It was, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, take the cards in your hand one more time. Do you know how many cards you've got there? Don't tell me. Uh, no idea. You don't know? No. Okay. Um, 
Okay, yeah, sorry, put the deck in there one more time. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. I, f I think there's eighteen cards there. Okay. Just double check for me, but I'm sure there's eighteen cards there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Beautiful. That's my card. Lovely jubbly. Brilliant. That's very good. So Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So that was uh, the code. That was the code. So, um, Harry. Yes. Um, you, you've already alluded to the fact that there's quite a few different things that you can do yeah. with this. That, obviously, that was the most basic performance of right. it, but uh, yeah, it is beautiful. That's very, it's very good, and you know, and you shouldn't underestimate. It. This is quite a straightforward routine. Mm. They look at a card, you tell them how many cards are weighing and yeah. that you've weighed in in your hand, um, and you can you should really underestimate that. I mean, um, it's a long time since I watched the DVD. But um, from memory, uh, I know that all of the approaches that Andy Nyman, uh, creator of the code, has taken with this has been uh, very direct. You know, there's yeah. none of these long convoluted things. Um, so it allows you to uh, to concentrate on the presentation, yeah. uh, which is which is key, really. It is. It's really good. I mean, there's so many things you get in, in here. Um, you get so many routines in there. And... It is, it is one of the things because um, people, I feel like people do underestimate even the fact just telling you what card you've got. Mm -hmm. When you think my head was turned the whole time yeah. and you've just cut a portion of cards off yeah. roughly, or it was, what was it, 18 cards down. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no way I should be able to know that. No. And obviously you can build up the mind reading thing more. You can get, you can hold their pulse, do body language, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then once again, to take it a step further and be able to tell them how many cards they've got that they don't even know mm. is really good. And bang on as well. You're not guessing. You know it 100% of the time. Yeah. So uh, this is a completely gimmick deck. Yeah. The cards themselves are, are normal, mm. um, but there is a, a gimmick element to it that allows you to yeah. uh, know uh, how many cards have been cut off. Yeah, so another thing you can do, yeah, so how many cards you can cut off. Another thing you can do is, let me just get these out so the joker's out again. Yeah, so if I run my finger down here, it's just another basic thing. I won't look at the monitor, but stop here, yeah? Yeah. So now if you look at, oh, was it here? I'm yeah. not sure what one it was. So if you have a look at that, yeah? Uh -huh. And then you look at that. Uh -huh. Three of hearts, yeah. eight of diamonds. Right, okay. Yeah. So then you can pick it up really fast as well, and it right. is killer. So obviously you can do multiple spectators uh -huh. with it as well. And, and this, is, this is, I think, one of the clever elements of it is the fact that, you know, you're showing me cards that are here. Mm. So if you've got any spectators that are thinking, oh, they must be marked cards, um, you couldn't possibly justify this being a marked card because yeah. you've got all of these other cards on top yeah, exactly. of it. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a great mm. element. Um, and it's, you know, that um, one of the th good things about the DVD, uh, amongst many, uh, is the fact that although the routines are direct um, and allow for presentation, they're also well structured as well. Yeah. Um, so um, with routines where you're possibly weighing cards, you're always maybe one step ahead mm. if the routine called for you to do a certain thing. Yeah. So that that is um, that is the beauty of, of some of the elements of the code. It is it is beautiful. And another thing is, um, what's I feel like what's underestimated in products is you you're not just buying the product. A lot of people think oh you just get it just for that routine, but mm. with this again. Um, Obviously, it's a utility thing. You can obviously do what he's done on there, but it's mm. it's good because you can take it in any direction you want, really. Yeah. Um. And also, again, it's the it's the experience. Andy Nyman is such a good mentalist mm. uh, and just performer in general. The amount of even just little tips picking it up. I mean, I've been watching Death by Magic lately on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, which is by Drum and Money, and it's insane. Even just the presentation things, the, his voice is being calming. Now, mm. I'm going to try, obviously, not copy it word for word, but just, I don't know, you can tweak your own thing just to see how powerful it really is. So, again, Andy Norman, you can pick up so many tips just from his performance style, yeah. um, how to build tension, the pauses, stuff like that, which yeah. is obviously... Um, an addition to the actual trick that you get with it, so it's worth it's worth it. Cool. Um, just one last thing then, um, or oh, a couple of last things. Uh, so the code um, code proper uh, comes with the deck and uh, instructions. Yep. And then uh, we sell refills as well, which are just the deck on their own. 
um, uh, because like anything, this is this runs out, it gets grubby after a while, you might lose cards, um, so we sell the refills on, on their own. Um, Stocks are there currently. Uh, they're not m major amounts uh, at the moment, um, but you know they have stocks of both currently. Um, so that would be worth checking out. It occurs to me, um, and I had a brief conversation with you about this earlier on, and I think this is a nice way of going in, into this. Um, the code also allows so one other thing that I think is a good thing uh, from a working point of view is that um, without giving too much away, this, this is set up to start off with. It, However, it does mean that if you get um, a spectator that says, oh, let me shuffle the deck, you can still sh have the cards shuffled and use them in a way that is not just as a normal deck would be used. Yeah, definitely. So that in its own right um, is, a, is a great thing to have in a deck yeah. that it is in a particular uh, way um, for a particular set of things mm. that you can do with it. And yet at any time... Uh, if a spectator says, well, let me shuffle the deck, you have no fear of saying, well, yeah, yeah go on then. Yeah, because they uh, are, as well, another thing to add is, you're, you're not going to be scared because no, it's not like rough and smooth where they can work something out. They, you can't you can give them the deck yeah. and they can handle it freely. Also, just one last thing is, because it's um, made and back, it's not too different from bicycles. So you, if you wanted to, you can switch it in and out if you wanted to get signed, card, yeah. card signed and, and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, and maidens are becoming more and more of a popular design. Yeah, definitely. So um, there, there are decks of cards out there that you can mm. obviously... Um, switch in if you really wanted yeah. to. But this is with me all the time because you can do so much with this deck. Brilliant. So it's beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. So, Harry. Yes. Uh, on the back of what we were just talking about there with the, the coat, uh, you said that you carry this around with you all the time. And yeah. I know you've been hinting at other things that you, you've been doing mm -hmm. as part of your, your repertoire or your, your working repertoire currently. Yeah. Um, so, um, just from my, from my own point of view, uh, we've obviously talked about uh, like gigs you've done over this last couple mm. of months. So let me ask you: if you had uh, the the dreaded heckler, yeah, um, I haven't really. No one kind of that I'm not trying to fight against, but you know what I mean. Trying mm. to battle with. I haven't really. I mean, the first gig I know you know about where it was just unlucky stuff that happened, but yeah. no real hecklers. I think. Everyone's been really encouraging, to be honest with you. I don't know whether that's the, just the type of gigs I've done. Right. Um, stuff like that. I mean, I haven't had a heckler as such. I've been turned away a couple of times. Right. And then they've asked me to show them stuff afterwards. Right. Um, but I haven't really, luckily enough, touch wood, been actually heckled. Right. Um, more encouraging, which is good. Right. Well, that, that's that's good. And, you know, it strikes me that if you're doing material such as um, the code, mm. where the, the only thing that you're likely to get... In, this isn't what I would classify as a heckle. Are those people that are more more kind of inquisitive? Uh, you know, if you're if you're saying to them that you're going to do magic or you've done something and then they want to shuffle the deck of cards, this is one of those effects where, as we were saying moments ago, you can go, mm. yeah, there we go. Um, a lot of the material that you've been choosing, you know, is is kind of like that. Um, yeah. I know that when you've been doing things uh, such as digital force bag and uh, the dice. Um, you know those those sort of things that they those sort of effects they lend themselves very well to that that kind of freeness. Yeah, um, that's what I do look for. I don't really want to be kind of tied down to not being able to hand stuff out, not being able to do this or that. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Which is which is what I like. Even things like the bit book. I've done it the other day, and then they're like, "Oh, well, even I showed before there's random stuff." They're like, "Oh, well, every number adds up to that," and then you can easily just go through and show. Well, this one's three add nine. What's three add nine? Twelve. Yeah. This one's this, and you're not kind of going, "Well, you're wrong." Yeah. You're just kind of reiterating the point that, that yeah. you, this could be any outcome. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and and I th I think you've taken a good approach there. I mean, I've heard um, we've had conversations uh, in the shop, and I know uh, you have with Dave, and you're constantly having those co sort of conversations with your as mm. well um, and I know I've heard um, Peter say to you on a number of occasions you know if you just take that and you move it here or you change this little a little bit here um, what you're doing is you're giving them a degree of freedom yeah um, and, and so you know you're taking a really good approach to performing magic to the public by giving them freedom even before they've asked for it yeah. even before their brain their brains have gone do you know what uh, I want to shuffle the deck mm. they don't need to now because you've already dispelled that by yeah. going by by how freely you've done the effect either beforehand or, or going through it yeah. um, same with the Mystic Cube as well I know you do several phases of that mm. and because you've got that moment where you're changing each of the conditions you're kind of then taking away all of the, the boxes that they're thinking well 
before um, he had the, it down on the table, um, what if I covered it with my hand? Yeah. And in the next instance, you're going to cover it with your hand, so you're kind of taking that. Yeah, kind of just eliminate. Them. Yeah, uh, I mean that is. Eve, I uh, tell you what. Another thing is is um, the Turner watch. Uh huh. Yeah. That is another one that I'll carry around with me. Obviously, you can carry it because it's a watch, but. The, that's another uh, such freedom because again that's any time yeah. Uh, yeah I try to, to stay away from even card tricks really I mean every time I get someone's pick card I'll try and classic force it whether I need to do it or not just for practice Yeah. but um, yeah I try not to use gimmicky stuff obviously everything I've just named is gimmicked but in a way that it's not do you know what I mean? Like yeah, things. Yeah. I do. I, I I totally understand where you're coming from. I mean, you know, you generally when you go through magic, obviously magicians all mm. have different opinions yeah. about a, the way that you approach performing for spectators. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm literally a beginner. Like, I'm not saying what I'm saying. But right. I, I'm I, saying I think for me, yeah, I think you've instinctively works. hit upon something. Uh, I mean, one of the things that um, one of the things that Tommy Wonder was certainly uh, in favour of is that you know strong magic for the most part is is the culmination of using um, lots of different um, lots of different techniques. Mm. So if you're a sleight of hand performer, that's great. Um, yeah. But if you always approach from sleight of hand, then there will be things that are, uh, that um, are put upon you by your spectators that you might not be able to get mm. through, through by sleight of hand alone. Um, if you only work with gimmicks. Yeah. Then you know there will be a day when uh, a spectator may say to you, "Well, you know, what happens here?" And you won't mm. be able to answer that because you are only relying on yeah, that gimmick. Exactly. So I, I think you, mm. you're you're right. You know, your your approach at the moment is is a good one because you, I think you're instinctively finding effects mm. where your degree of freedom is not just you know you won't just um, do sleight of hand. You won't yeah. just do trick decks. You'll do a mixture of both. Yeah. If it produces a strong effect, but it allows that strong effect to be clean and um, take away um, those moments where the spectators can go, oh, well, I can shuffle those, mm. uh, and you can go, yes. Yeah. Then There's, they've got nothing to go by. No, nothing. exactly. So you, yeah, I, I, and I think you're you're taking the right approach. Mm. So that's that's great. Um, that's that's really good. One more. Sorry. One more thing. I say about it every time. But honestly, PK touches, mm -hmm. that's another one. I've, every time I perform, because um, say my friend, say a mutual friend is like, oh, so, um, like I haven't really met them, but they just know me through someone else. Oh, so he do magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll go into a PK touch thing, and then straight away they go, oh, no props. Mm -hmm. And even though it doesn't matter if I get cards out or whatever, because the presentation will cover that it's not a, a like, yeah, you know what I mean. Not like a trick thing. Yeah, but the fact they say no props and you're like, oh yeah, no, it's just, it's just using you two pretty much. Do you know but, what I mean? Uh, on the on the back of that, mm. um, you don't do any other propless mentalism though, do you? No, no. And I think you know. Oh this, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. You don't. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, no. Did, I did wonder no. whether. Uh, and by that I mean that you don't do any of the um, uh, the kind of. Uh, think of a birth, you know, what's yeah, your birth no, sign, that, that sort of no, thing, yeah. um, without any writing down. Yeah. Okay. So, so I do use, yeah, as I said, I do use props, but again, they're like the cube. I mean, you just pull a little cube out of your pocket. Yeah, so you for you, I mean? it's a means, to, a means to the end. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. so you take the cube out, mm. not because it's a prop, but because yeah. it is something that you are using. Yeah, yeah to, to establish... Like my a connection, power yeah. Or right. Okay. Um, that's interesting to know that because I, I know other magicians that um, that have done PK touches, but mm. they also do propless mentalism um, in the sense of more of the the things like um, uh, naming birth signs and yeah. na and naming cards that are apparently just thought mm. of. Um, so it is interesting to 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 hear that, uh, and I'm sure that will form a, a whole discussion in, in its own yeah. right. Um, but I can see why you're getting that sort of reaction is because um, you you're doing something that um, that is apparently in propcher. I think even though it's yeah. planned. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, this is a great, and we will have a longer conversation about this. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, because I think it would just take up a whole vlog just talking about yeah. that, or maybe a discussion in its own right. Maybe we'd do like a special, a special mm -hmm. vlog, yeah. just a, a chat, more yeah. chat vlog. Um, but that's it. That's interesting. 
That's great, Harry. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, glad that we no, no, long, but no, no. Yeah, I, do you know what? Like... I, and that I think is what our customers like, and mm. what the people watching this like is the fact that we're having these sort of conversations. So I'm glad that that mm. we have. Um, Beautiful. Okay. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. Right. So let's talk about the session. Yep. So, yes. Harry, uh, you're away at the weekend, I'm away at the session. I do. You do. You I do. am aware. Yeah. <laughs> I do know you. And sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm, away at the, I'm away at the session, um, and uh, you guys may not know this, um, but um, however long the session's been going, uh, way back, when I think, I think it was actually the second or third session convention, uh, Alakazam were there, we had a stand, um, and uh, we actually did some filming of uh, that convention at that time, um, and it was around about 2007, mm -hmm. so um, 12 years ago. <gasps> oh, seven. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, 2007, we, we filmed the session DVD, and um, there are highlights. There is uh, an interview between Noel Quarter and Wayne Huchin, uh, because Wayne Huchin was doing uh, a lecture there at the time. Um, and uh, there was a couple other people that mm. are featured on the DVD. John Armstrong, uh, Dynamo's on there. Um, we have uh, Robert Morland, I believe, is on there, uh, doing this fantastic cloud change, mm. or at least a routine that use, uses it. Um, and a whole host of other people, uh, Rob James, um, Andy Gladwin, I think, is on there. Um, and one person that is on there um, that um, that is uh, or has been an associate of uh, Alakazam for quite a while now, and that is Mike Davis. Uh, so for those of you that may remember, um, many years ago we did uh, a thing called My Mate Mike, um, and it was pretty much what we're doing here now, uh, but Peter and Mike, uh, yeah. and Mike would have uh, tricks that he would talk about, um, and Pete would have tricks mm. that he would talk about. And it was a good little section on, on the, what was the start of the vlog Stroke yeah. Lives. Um, so it was a good little section. Uh, Mike is a busy performer um, and he's always out and about performing magic all up and down the country for, for weddings and other, other events. Um, and he is a great performer as well. He's one of those people um, that as soon as you meet him, uh, you, there's an immediate rapport uh, mm. between between him and the people he's performing to, and it is amazing to watch. And he's a good magician, you know. Yeah. He he can walk the walk, he can talk the talk. He he can do it. He he's um, he's a very very good performer. Every uh, time he's in performing, I always see Dad like this, Harry. Come yeah, on, watch this. Exactly. This is like this is the, like this is the magician, isn't it? This yeah. is what you should not should be like. But do you know what I mean? This is the guy who knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's and. Uh, just before Christmas, um, our Alexander Magic Club, uh, we went over to Houdini's in Canterbury where me and Dave perform. Um, and Mike is also one of the performers there when he's not uh, working at the weddings, etc. And um, he was our magician on that night. Mm. Now, you know, there's got to be some sort of pressure for a magician that's working in a bar environment <laughs> yeah. when he's got 30, 40 other magicians coming in to have their Christmas day. Mm. Um, and uh, didn't phase him one bit. Uh, absolutely on top form. Um, he was funny, uh, he was dynamic, uh, the magic was really, really good and spot on, and everybody loved him, mm. um, which I, I don't doubt. I mean, I've worked with him for, I've worked with him loads of times over the yeah. course of the uh, oof, 20 odd years that I've known him. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's certainly well worth checking out. So, Mike appears on this DVD. Um, so, you look down the list and you see John Armstrong of uh, Dynamo, etc., and then you see Mike Davis. Um, but he has a wonderful trick on there, uh, one uh, that I have used uh, on occasion. Uh, he also has another version as well, uh, which he says isn't his, but I, I, I think it is, because I've not seen anybody else do it. Um, but it's a, it's a great little trick. So, can are I? you up for seeing? Yeah, can I? Excellent, okay, so uh, let's have a look at um, this effect by Mike Davis. Beautiful. have to stand. That's all right. <laughs> that seems slightly off, doesn't it? Yeah. I think you're too far. Yeah, I am. I'm yeah. having off with me. Right, hopefully I'll do this correctly. Harry. Hello. Uh, we're going to try a little card effect here, mm -hmm. um, if you don't mind helping me out with this. Uh, yep. We actually need two jokers for this and a deck of cards that's shuffled. So if you could give those a mix up for me, yep. uh, give them your best overhand shuffle. Uh, you do the riffle thing as well. 
Can I? Yeah, go for it. Well, it'd be really, oh no, with these cards it's effortless, actually. Very, very good. You do the... Uh, I got, do you know what? I can only do that if I do it like this way. I'm really bad doing it the other way. I need oh, right, OK. I'm just putting you on the spot yeah. here in front of our, our million of viewers and yeah, stuff. Um, so you, now. you shuffled... <laughs> very good. Uh, you shuffled them up, and it's important that you realise that there's nothing in between the two jokers here. Yep. That's it. That's important. So this is what I would like you to do. Uh, I need you to point to the back of a card for me, okay? okay? So if you just point to the back of a card, uh, we won't take it out. This one, please. This one here? Yep. Excellent, okay, so you just remember that? Yep. It doesn't matter if I see it, but I will show the camera. Okay. Um, and what hand do you write with? Uh, my right. Excellent, okay, just push it all the way in. Very good. So now you have a card that is now somewhere in here, yeah? Yep. Um, in fact, it's not in between those two cards. It is not. Very good. So look, there's one joker, there's a second joker. I'm going to spread through the cards, and what I would like you to do is at some point, in fact, pick up one of the jokers for me. Yeah, uh, just stick it in there any way you want. We'll leave it face up. Right there. There? Yep, yeah, please. Okay, and I'll leave it sticking out. And take the other joker and just place it there as well. Bosh. Very good. So the two jokers are just there like so. I'm just going to square those up. All we have to do is wait just a second. Neatness is important. Okay. And at this moment in time, those jokers are going one upwards, one downwards. And they're running through the deck. And gradually, one bit at a time, one card at a time, they're coming together until they have one card in between. Now, if I spread out the cards, there should be a card. Oh, there is a card Ooh. in between. Could you do me a favor? I don't want to touch the, uh, I don't want to touch the cards uh, from this moment on. Can you just take out, um, take that card out, just slide it towards you, that's brilliant. And just to have a quick look at it, make sure it's uh, your card to show everybody. Oh, that is. The Four of Diamonds. That's my card, yeah. Excellent, okay. <laughs> so look, we have um, one card and one card only, the uh, Four of Diamonds. I'll tell you what, what I will do is I'm going to just take the Four of Diamonds and I'm going to leave it somewhere in the middle of the pack. Mm. So you can see it somewhere in the middle there. Yep. Um, no funny business or anything like that. We will leave these just here, mm. okay? Do you remember I said that the cards, uh, the jokers go up and down like this yeah. and then they trap a card? Uh, oh, I forgot to put them in there, didn't I? I forgot to put them in there. That's, that's fine. Uh, I'll tell you what. There we go. If we do that correctly, then what actually happens is one card appears in between them. Mm. There is one card and one card only. Um, that should be a joker. Uh, your card, the uh, four of diamonds. And then a joker. Not bad, huh? That's not bad. I'll tell you what. We'll do it one last time. Look, we just place the cards here. All we have to do is just place the uh, jokers in the top. And that's it. They, they run like the speed of light. They go down through the deck together, they come back up before you can even blink. And what they do is they actually tra trap a card, and there's one card in between just there. Do you want to take it, show everybody, it should be your four of diamonds. Ooh. And that is the trick Fair by good. Mike Davis on the session 2007. Uh, 2007. Beautiful. Excellent. That's lovely. So, uh, that's Mike's trick. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mike's, uh, I think he calls it triple sandwich, if, okay. if I remember correctly. Um, very easy to do, um, very straightforward. Um, not, um, it's not one of those sandwich effects where, okay, you've got the uh, multi-phase effect, but it's not one that just drags and drags and drags. Yeah. You know, um, there are other great sandwich effects out there. Um, we've got a brilliant uh, one uh, called Entrapment Gold 2, uh, which, you know, I would seriously recommend uh, mm. checking out. Uh, and you have some gimmick versions as well. Uh, Club Sandwich is a, is a brilliant yeah. trick. Um, but if you want something um, that you can use with a borrowed deck, don't have to have the jokers, you can use two jacks, I think yeah. uh, Mike uses, um, then this is certainly worth checking out. So, uh, the Session DVD is currently in stock. Again, there's not many of the actual DVDs, but we do have it on streaming video. Oh. Um, they're on a special price at the moment. The DVDs will be there until they're gone. Uh, they're 9 .99, And the streaming video is there currently at the same price at 9 .99. So um, if you're interested in those and some other great effects by the likes of John Armstrong, uh, Dynamo, uh, Robert Moreland, and a whole host of others, then I would seriously recommend checking it out. Is that nine ninety nine including shipping? Yes. Oh yes, it is. So wow. that'll be nine ninety nine for the DVD including shipping, wow. and obviously the streaming video straight into your account. Instant access. Instant Beautiful. access. Beautiful. So uh, well worth checking those out. Lovely job, lad. So Harry, we've got mm. one last thing to do. Um, we need to announce competition. Yep. Um, and also a competition for, for mm. next time. Okay. Yep. So um, last time. 
last time, I asked the question, uh, what Magic Club, uh, who's, um, which Magic Club had the motto of Indocilis Privata Loqui? The fact we literally haven't cut and he's just read that off the top of his head. Yeah. Not li- it's not written on the top of his head. Well, no, it's tattooed it's, on my head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> said it. So, which Magic Club has the motto Indocilis Privata Loqui and what does it mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, go on then. Do you want me to tell them? You can tell them. Do you know the magic? what the Magic Club is? I do. Got What's the Magic Club? Oh yes. This bad boy. The the magic circle. The magic circle. Yes. Which I'm gonna try. I might try and get into this year. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Well, worth getting just into. Just eighteen. Yeah. yeah. So the magic circle. It is the uh, it is uh, the motto of the magic circle. Um, we can't zoom in at this point, but it does actually say there in doses private loquy. Yep. Um, and as for what it means, it means uh, in the way that they translate it, um, not at to disclose secrets. Uh, that's the Ooh. way that it stands on the Magic Circle Good website. Uh, I'm informed by one of my customers that it actually, it, the literal translation means incapable of speaking of private things. Um, <laughs> but crazy. it's kind of paraphrased to yeah. not apt to disclose secrets. So um, the winner this week was Andy Keane. Well so Andy, Andy uh, please uh, email in your address and we will get a set of the Magic Circle cards sent out to you. Um, these are, I'm not quite sure whether they're bicycle stock, but they definitely are decent stock. Mm. Um, so I think these might be something um, that you know, you'll know you actually Ooh. get use out of, which is, which is really good. Just in a cheeky reveal in the box as well, which is nice. Oh, is that on the flap? On the flap? Yep. What? On the yeah, oh yeah, look, beautiful. Look at that. So it's a yeah. nice one to add to your collection. Yeah, um, which is cool. But they are, um, they are nice. And I did not know that. That's quite a cool slogan, actually. Yes, in Dosa Les Provator Loqui. Beautiful. So um, yeah. So Andy Keen, uh, please email in to us, and uh, we will get mm. uh, a set of the Magic Circle cards sent out into you, uh, to you to the post. What are we setting? What's the competition we're doing this week? What is the competition that we're doing this week? Okay, so um, okay, uh, so as um, we're go- I'm going to the session convention. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's make it a fairly straightforward one. Uh, every year, uh, the session convention, um, they uh, have a guest of honour. Okay. So in previous years, uh, we've had Darren Brown, uh, we've had Chris Kenner, we've had uh, Juan Tamaritz. Uh, so they, they've had some um, quite um, big names in the world of magic as their guests of honour. This year, uh, they have a Las Vegas headliner. Um, so all you've got to do is just email in and tell me who the Las Vegas headliner is and what hotel he headlines in. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you have to have both of those um, because the last competition with uh, the Magic Circle, I got answers to what the actual meaning was, but not who the club was and vice versa. Okay, yeah. You have to have both, all right? So which magician, uh, which Las Vegas headliner magician is the guest of honor at this week's session convention? Yep. And what hotel do they uh, do they have their show in? Okay. In Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. Okay. Uh, so email in to sales at alakazam.co.uk. Um, just make sure that you're clear about those two answers on there. And what we'll do is we'll pick a winner mm-hmm. and then uh, announce it on the next vlog. And they'll win some elites, yeah. We are, they will win Beautiful. some Beautiful. Right. We need to wrap this up quickly because might, my legs are running under the table. I might time. even get said elites signed by this person. Oh! That would be cool, wouldn't that it? That would be really cool. Okay, so if I can pin him down, yeah, I will get him to sign the, the elites. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. So they will come unsealed, obviously, because I need to. I can't yeah. have him in the in the cellophane yeah. wrapper, but I'll try and get him to sign yeah. the back of the That box. is really cool. Yeah. Beautiful. I think, Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Um, so leave it with me. Can't promise anything because yeah. you know he's going to be a popular man, but yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. That is it. Mom, literally running under the table. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> thank you for joining us on this week's Alexan Video Blog. Um, please leave reviews. Um, there is uh, a review section on our website. Review, uh, leave reviews of products that mm. uh, you may have purchased recently or any feedback that you have for the vlog. Uh, we start to get people that have come through and said, oh, we'd lo- really like you to talk about this on vlog. So we'll start having a look through those yeah. and, and tailor them to, to suit, uh, hopefully. Uh, but that just leaves me, Andy Smith and Harry to say thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again on the next Alexan video blog. One last thing oh. before we go. Mm. Check out our Instagram page. 
Oh yes, Alakazam underscore magic. Yes, and Daily obviously uploads. and obviously Facebook and Twitter as well. And Facebook and Twitter, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, Beautiful. so we'll see you again next time. Toodaloo.